Hello, welcome back to a Oracle tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to discuss a very important concept about Oracle database. So before you uh, jump into the database concept, let's try to take a real life example. So in this real life example, what I am so going to show you is that uh, that uh, I recently read a book and this read, the book is about uh, Steve Jobs uh, autobiography. Okay, and then this book is about uh, 600 some pages. So 600 pages of uh, material and then I read it, I skim through it once and then I like certain areas where I want to read it. Okay, so one of those area is about uh, in his uh, in his young age uh, he went to India and for some spiritual uh, for, for some something related to spiritualism, and I want to know about I want to read about that uh, pages or I want to know about that chapters and then just go directly dive into that and then read about that. So how do I do that? One of my options is that I want to scan all these pages page by page page by page. I start from page one. And then I find out if there is something about India or something that what I am looking for. If not, then I, I go to page 2, then page 3 and so on. And somehow eventually I am going to find out somewhere in maybe around page 200 uh, and after by doing these uh, steps. Okay. And then uh, and then I am done. Okay. But do you think, okay, so what, what about like if I am going to search for a information which is available in page 599. Okay. In that case, I'm going to scan the entire book and that is very expensive and it's very time consuming. Also, that is not efficient. So, remember like, you know, so this problem has been solved by the author of this book because he wrote something called an index. Okay. And this is what is about, uh, you know, uh, this, this page is the index page of one of those, uh, in one of, one of the index pages. Okay. And then, and also another important thing he did, he basically uh, order the order uh, you know he, he put those keywords in a or in an alphabetical order so that if i want to find out about india i go directly to the index pages which is in the very back of the page and then scan those things on an alphabetical order since i'm going to look for india definitely i'm going to look for anything related to a i just directly dive into i and then so here is i found out that there is something about uh, india okay and then i found out some more information that one is India and another is the pages, page number 37 and page number 104 where I, I can find some related information about his, about Steve Jobs' involvement with India. Then what I did, I directly go to the page number 37 and figure out what is going on there. Okay, So that is why we create index. That is why, you know, the book author has given you an index. If he has not given you index, no problem, still the book is book. But Finding information is a little bit of difficult, or it's almost unusable in certain cases. That is the reason why he created index. So now let's come back to our, uh, our, you know, the, the the problem that we we face in Oracle. Okay. So let's say this is our employee table, and employee table has you know a couple of rows right now. Let's say for example seven rows, and then employee number 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. Okay, so basically the question that I asked you, okay, can you find out what is the employee record for employee number 50? Then what do you do? Whenever you, you give this query, what Oracle does, it because you remember these are stored in the data blocks, okay, and this data block, actually whatever you are showing, whatever I am showing here in this page is just a logical view, but actually whatever the stored in the database in a very different way in one block is cons consists of employee number 10, somewhere else another block consists of employee number 20. Okay, so what essentially and then all of these blocks has a row ID or row address and every, everybody has a row address. So what is going to happen is that in this case Oracle is going to look row by row the way that we are scanning the book page by page is going to, row, is going to do this thing and then finally eventually figure out that employee number 50 is here and then it is going to fetch this record called 50, Sam, 6310 and 40. So whatever this complete record is going to fetch me. Okay. So that is how it is going to do. So this imagine like now this is just for 7 rows, uh, 7 row table. What about this table is 10 million rows. Okay. So if it is 10 million rows then Oracle is going to do the same process. Scanning this thing one by one, one, one row after another row. And then this query may take a lot of longer time. It makes makes maybe I don't know how it depends on what kind of hardware you are using and so on. But definitely this is something that's not really usable by you. Okay. So 
essentially what we are doing is that we are do this is this process of, uh, of of finding the data is called uh, you know is called full table scan full table scan okay so as you know in the book example so this full table scan needs to be embedded if you want to get the result in a in a in a, in a time that is something that that you you wish to get it okay so in order to do that what you do like the way that book analogy they created index so let's create an index okay so the, this is the problem and the solution here is that we are going to create an index and then now to do that, that to create an index we just give a sql command called create index so this is what i showed you here so we are going to give a very simple command called create index index name what is the name of the index and then on which table which table and which column you need to create an index so i'm just going to explain you exactly what's happening internally so if i give this command if i execute this command create index my index on the line number uh, this thing then oracle is going to create an additional storage area and this additional storage area name is called my underscore index whatever name you give here and then what is going to do whatever the, the 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 table and column name right so that column name will be stored here say for example in this case we store employee employee number so therefore employee number stored here and then say employee number is 10 right the first row is 10 so employee number is 10 and then what is the address of this row and for sake of cooking of this example I just said let's just say the address is 1001 okay and the row address of this row is going to stay here 1001 then we have 20 so 20 comes here and then what is the address of that one let's say the address was 1035 and so on 31046 and so on so, so the, the moment you, you do this thing Oracle is going to create this extra optional storage area called my underscore index and it will store these things okay employee number and row address so now imagine if you whenever you're going to give the same query which is select start from emp where employee number is 50 so instead of you looking at this table you are going to first oracle is going to first look at the index storage area where it will find out the things very quickly because these things are you know less compared to this thing which is huge okay and also we will tell you in the next videos how we can also still make this thing even, even search more quicker uh, to to get this thing uh, to, to retrieve the information about the row id so it is going to go to this area storage area and then figure out what is the employee number we are looking for say so we are looking for employee number 50 then whatever the corresponding row id for that it get the row id and then it directly goes to this row id and fetch this row in this case we will fetch this row and this is called index access right you know we access we we access this row by using index okay so that is how you are going to solve this problem by creating an index so now uh, here is some uh, question for you let's say i want to give select star from emp select star from emp where department number is equal to 200 so do you think we are going to use an index so pause for a moment and then uh, so basically the question is how many index will be used how many if we have this scenario where we have created a, a, a index on employee number and we are querying on department number is equal to 200 so the question is do you do you know uh, do, do you think that oracle is going to use index here or is going to do a full table scan okay so question is the answer is full table scan or use index okay i hope you already got it so it, it's going to be a full table scan because we have not defined a index on department number we just index is employee number so therefore when we're searching on employee number then only you'll use index not anything else okay so i hope uh, this uh, you know you could you could able to answer this question uh, if not then you just read the see the video and then root, do, do some reading on index and then uh, it, it will be fine so now let's basically uh, decide you know discuss what are the issues basically what are the issues involving with indexes so the, the first issue that remember like you now we have to create this extra area the first thing is that additional additional storage that we need so that came from uh, you know basically we need to create uh, basically this thing was not there before uh, what i mean by this you know that's my index structure was not there we have to create that one that's fine you know nowadays you know discuss very cheap is very commodity 
you know it's just you know like the the, the amount of uh, benefits is giving like you know, the making the query faster uh, additional storage is just nothing okay it is not a not really a problem not an issue okay the second thing is that uh, somebody has to do this create statement right so after you create a table so somebody has to do this create index so you need to create an index and also you need to create an index on the on the field where you need to query like so for example whenever i ask the question that you know if i if i create an index on employee number i am querying a department number then nothing will happen again the full table scan will is, will go on so you need to figure out where to you know on which column we need to create an index and we need to actually create that index but that is a one time job and then once you understand about your use case about your workload about your data volume and all this thing then that's, that's that can be done okay i will say that's okay so okay it's not a big deal number 3 is that index maintenance so what is index maintenance so let's for example index maintenance so let's say you want you want to insert another row here to employee table okay so after you create an index so you are inserting an, so another row to one employee number 80 so whenever you do employee number 80 oracle is going to automatically insert another row here on on this index table so you will think about this index as another table okay so this this is your base table and this index table and in the base table you have everything index table we have you have very uh, limited amount of uh, limited number of columns okay so now uh, say if whenever you insert 80 we automatically oracle is going to do something on 80 uh, on this index table uh, it, it will insert another row 80 so whenever you want to delete this thing oracle is going to delete this thing so this is called index maintenance imagine you have a very highly like you know like you know high uses of oltp system where we are, we are doing a lot of insert update delete and all this thing and then we are not doing any query so in that case you are basically the index overhead is more than the benefits that we are getting from the query so therefore it may not be a good idea to use index start time or it may be a good idea to disable index start time and whenever you're going to run some reports and all these things we can enable indexes okay so this is a the huge subject and a lot of importance you know from a performance point of view a lot of people really don't really do that well so what we're going to do we are going to create series of videos on indexes and then explain you from some real life examples how this index you know what kind of indexes you are going to use when to use when not to use thank you